Whoa. Hello, good sir. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, you can, <laughs> you can crash a while. Don't break anything, please. Please don't break anything. Welcome back, everyone, to Terra Incognita on Dragon Quest Builders for the PlayStation 4. Um, it's been a while since I played it, but I have been a little busy. Just a little. Barely busy at all. Um, I've been just making making some stuff work for... making. Really, I've been trying to make things more efficient. I've also gained a couple new things. Finally got the Warhammer. I got the Unbreakable Sword of the King. Sword of Kings. And we still have some sledgehammers, but... And I've been throwing just pretty much everything that builds something. Ugh. And I've been throwing pretty much just everything that builds something here. Because I've needed to build things and I haven't found the best thing yet. That has, like, everything I'm looking for. Um, otherwise, I'm going to reset some islands here. I'm going to reset Australia because you can get pretty much everything you could ever need there. That's the first world based on the first chapter, and it's just the easiest to go in and grab as much stuff as you need. I'm pretty much just resource gathering now. I have a ton of metals. What I really need are some stones and wood. Okie dokie, that's a lot of trees. That's a lot of wood we just got. So hopefully that'll last us a while. What I want to find are rocks because the majority of what I'm building with, um, what I'm going to be building with are like cottage walls. And they require wood and rock. A lot more rock than wood, but. I see ya. Okay, all right, okay, okay. That's fine. Oh, come back for more, huh? Ow. I also did get the Hammer of the Builder as well. It was something I looked at in an earlier episode, but it doesn't do exactly what I want it to do. Um, it doesn't break or anything, which is nice. But the thing that it's meant to do is... Be, is pretty much break down any rock you need to be placeable somewhere else. So like if I wanted a if I wanted to put like a mine like with materials, minerals and all that in my free build area, I could use the axe of the, the um yeah, the axe of the builder, the hammer of the builder or something like that. And I could pick up minerals without actually taking the mineral out of them and place them into my free build zone. So that's what the hammer of the builder does, but I don't need that. I need to be able to break down things. Just stinks, because I'm constantly going to have to be making more and more equipment as I need it. What do you want? Get out of here. I am running out of things. While we're here, though. Since I don't have any more scorpion horns to be able to make another warhammer, I'm going to find the scorpions that are here because I found out the scorpions I found in the World 2 teleporter really was the worst possible way to try and get scorpion horns be able to get this hammer. So I found out where they actually spawn. 
and I found out that you pretty much need the other teleporting worlds. You, you pretty much don't need them at all, just because everything you could ever need is in this first world. This isn't the scorpion I need. I guess it doesn't hurt. Oh, look at you guys. Yeah. Okay. You don't hurt as bad as I thought you would. I can't hurt you. Okay. So... I know I have something that will, though. There you are. Come here. Oh, come on! There we go. You gave me, like, nothing I wanted. I need fine fur. I'm not sure who gives me that. I think it's someone in here still. In this world. I'm just not sure what I need to kill to drop fine fur. Somewhere over here, black scorpions will spawn in. Those are the ones I need to kill to get scorpion horns. There's some. So you purple ones drop it. Okay, that'll give me some of the best equipment. Ah, there's one. Ow. Hello, sir. Ah. Nice. Nice, nice. There's another one. So you're spawning in between areas. Come on, you know what I'm here for. Let me get rid of these trees so I can see better. There's one. Beautiful hit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I got cornered by a slime. It came for the kill. Wow. If I wouldn't have broken out of that, I would have died for sure. There's one. How many is that? I got four now. I think it takes three to build a sledgehammer. So we at least can construct another one. I wouldn't mind going back with six though. Man, the spawn. The spawn is bad and then the drop rate is even worse. There is no sleep for the master builder. This is something else. Awesome. That is good enough. So, hi. Jeez. Why am, why am I only getting monsters coming in and moving in? I want people. Damn it. 
Maybe I need to build a... Uh, I might need to build a house. Okay, well, maybe I'll build a house this time. But anyways, so I've got this little thing going on right now. This is what I've built so far on my own time. I have three different tracks leading to three of the teleporters that are furthest away. So if you get on this track and ride it all the way... Whee! Whee! Yay! Yay! It will take you to this one. So you can get in. And it's just nice, quick, and easy. The other one leads to the third teleporter through a little tunnel I dug through the mountain. And the third one, uh, I want to lead directly to the fourth portal. But I haven't dug through that mountain yet. So I'll have to get to there at some point, but not right now. But otherwise... I want this this uh, building to encapsulate the flag as well, and this will kind of be like the uh, entrance area, and then everything else past here, all of this would just be city, I guess, um, but I probably should make a building, just a building if I'm going to actually start getting people. I actually got exactly 200 pieces of wood. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll make some more cord because I don't have any reason to keep ivy. Just making a bunch of stuff that I can use for everything else later. Oh, I didn't need to make that. I did not mean to make that. Son of a gun. Okay. I need more cotton. Oh, jeez. Where do I get cotton? I can't remember. Shoot. But I can make... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I won't fall to my death anymore. I've died so many times from that. It's disgusting. I... I need Zenithium? Shoot, where is that? Warhammers, yep, two more Warhammers. <sighs> where do I get cotton? I think it's in the second portal. I'm pretty sure. Because that's the, um, that's the chapter that you made guest, uh, you made the hospital and all that. So, and for that, you need the comfy beds. So I think you get cotton over here. So we'll go check this out. There's some cotton. Okay. It is not very bountiful. It is not very bountiful over here. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Where? Up here? Oh, hey, guys. Oh, you guys suck. Come on. Fine. Oh, you are the worst. All right, come on. Okay, guys, fine. Can I beat this one? Thanks for letting me get up here, guys. Really. There's a bunch of beans. I don't need beans. I need cotton. Okay, hi. Oh, you appeared out of nowhere. Uh, and there's another one. Okay, it's dead already. That's good. Oh, and more. Yikes. Oh, I am just slaughtering everyone. Actually, looks like this is... I've been looking for water blocks, because I can't find... I haven't found any. I found hot water blocks. Haven't found regular water blocks, which I'm assuming... 
would be in this this area. I haven't explored this area much at all. But it's a matter of I need to find water blocks so that I can create a fresh water source for people to get. For hopefully, I, I hope that it works the same way as the actual story in that if you create buildings and you have people come and live with you, they will um, perform tasks for you and just create things for you. I really hope so. That would be great. What's with this? I mean, I would gladly accept all of this. Oh, there it is! There's one! Ah, yes! Finally! Awesome! Okay. I can leave now. Oh, that's fantastic. Excuse me, crab, I need to go home. Great! Oh, things are looking up. Okay, so I want to make a hotel. And I have so many items. All right, so in order to create a hotel, I'm just pretty much gonna start over. I'm going to need just more wood can never have too much wood. All right, I'm gonna need a couple of these. Oh, it's made out of branches. Ah, I need more branches then, at some point. All right, I'm gonna need a ensign. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, inside light source, okay. Which I have the light sources. Oh, that's weird, okay. So I'm gonna make a nice little guest, guest, fan, a fan, bleh, bleh, fancy guest house over here. This might not be its permanent location, but I'm pretty much just, I want people to move in. Oh no, you're kidding. I need a door as well. I don't have a door. And I don't want something like a... Like a I don't want a straw door. No, wood door. Thank you. Nope, wrong. Yes, I have built a room. Right, 
There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Awesome. So now we've got a grand guest house. And hopefully that means people are going to start um, cultivating here. That would be awesome. Um, I should probably make a couple other little things. Just to kind of start... Make a barbecue chicken, I guess. Barbecue, barbecue chicken. We're gonna make a barbecue chicken. Cause I'm starving all the time. Okay. should have a chest somewhere. Nope, I use that somewhere else. Okay. I don't like you there. There. Okay. Well, we got a lot done today. Um I'm going to I'm going to need to make a watering hole of some sort next. Uh but then seriously, why do I have just all monsters? I don't get it. Um But then hopefully we can start on the bulk of the build. I don't know exactly how I'm going to lay this out yet. Um, but, you know, it's exciting. Got stuff going on. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe for more. Because there will definitely be more on the way. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya.